Hey everyone, it's Holly from Safe Beginnings. I have been getting so many questions over the last few weeks about how to know if a coat is safe to use in a car seat, um, specifically a puffy winter coat. Um, the answer is generally no, but it's not always no, and it really depends on the coat that you're using. This is a coat that my daughter wears in the car seat, and in the following test, I will show you how to tell if a coat that looks like this will work in a car seat or not safely during the winter. Okay, so I've got Sadie sitting here in her seat. We're gonna get her harness tightened up as we would for a ride, and um, we're gonna go ahead and do that now. So I'm just getting her nice and tight in her seat, making sure I've removed all the slack from the hip area. And once I feel like I've got it pretty tight, I wanna make sure that I can't pinch a horizontal fold at the collarbone, if I can, I'm tightening just until that falls out of my fingers. Now I'm getting my chest clip right at the armpit level. So I've got her nice and snug in her seat. Now, in order for me to know if this is actually a safe coat or not, I'm going to have to remove Sadie without loosening the harness. So I'm going to take her out without loosening the harness at all. And then we're gonna try her in a different coat. Okay, so now I've got Sadie changed. Sadie is in just a single layer fleece jacket here. So she's in something really thin. This is what we typically recommend in a car seat. Now I'm going to put her harness back on. I haven't loosened her harness since I had her in the other coat. So I'm going to put this over top. Okay. It might be a bit tight because I haven't loosened it at all. And the hope is that when I get this buckled up, that it will still pass the pinch test. So I make sure I've got that slack out of the hips and I'm just trying to pinch a fold at the collarbone. Really close, I can just bar I can barely hold on to it actually. So um, that coat, is very, very compressible and would be safe to wear in a car seat um, because it doesn't add a significant amount of bulk now that I've put her back into normal clothes. So um, some coats can be totally safe for car seats, but you have to double check if they're going to pass this test or not before you use them in a car seat. Okay, so to recap, my daughter's coat, this packable pink one here, totally passed the test. It is nice and thin, it compresses down, so this is safe for her to use in the car seat. This coat is from Gap Kids, and my big tip here is you have to go and do the test with each coat because even the same brand from year to year, they can be manufactured slightly differently or have slightly different names and not pass a test per se. So you always wanna try that coat test. So when you buy a coat, keep the tags on, do the test, and then if you know that it passes the test, awesome, you can use it in your car seat. Other recommendations are using things like I showed you here with this thin fleece. Fleece is a great way to keep kids warm, um, but keep them in something that is safe and thin and um, doesn't interfere with the harness. I live in Vancouver, so realistically, this is a nice option for us, but not for everyone. So some other options are things like using blankets in the car, or one of my favorite tips is just to preheat your car whenever possible so that the car is already warmed up. Um, if you have an infant who's in an infant seat with a handle on it that you can carry out to the car, getting the car warmed up and making sure that they are harnessed properly and then covered in a blanket and things like that before you get them out to the car. So I hope that that helps. If you still have questions about car seats or about winter coats and car seats, please feel free to send me a DM. But um, thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. And I'm always here for your questions.